OpenAI has introduced a new branching feature in ChatGPT that says branch into a new chat. This addresses the long-standing limitations in the interface. Previously, users who wish to explore different approaches within the same conversation had very limited options. Often we have to overwrite an existing chat or start entirely from the new one. This update gives us that flexibility and makes interactions much more seamless. Hey, my name is Bhavani Kola. Welcome back to my channel. In today's session, I'm going to be demonstrating this brand new chat feature in ChatGPT. I'm going to take an educational use case, branch it out, and then show you how this can be used in education. Please like, subscribe, and share. So let's dive right into exploring the brand new chat. So here I am on new chat. Let me see what I am on. I'm ChatGPT5 Auto. I'm simply going to go ahead and paste this simple research outline. I'm asking GPT to give me an outline on a research paper on societal impacts on social media. I'm just going to let this run. I want to show you what happens once I have the chat. As you can see, GPT is giving me a complete structure and outline of my research paper that includes the methods, um, data sources, analysis plan, ethics, discussion, and all of this. So. Again, let's go quickly go back. So here's my prompt. Help me outline a research paper. And this is the prompt that I have on societal impacts of social media. Once I have all of this, where will the branching feature work? So here is my complete outline. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead all the way to the bottom here, click on these three dots and create a new branch. So a new branch has been created. So here's my new branch. I'm going to go back to the original prompt or the original research outline, and I'm going to create another branch. Just trust the process. I'm going to go back and create another branch. So from the one single prompt, I have created three different branches. Once I created all these three branches, remember this is my original chat and these are my branches. On the first branch, keeping the same outline, I'm asking GPT to focus on the negative societal impacts. That's the first one. On the second branch, I'm asking it to explore potential solutions, strategies to mitigate the negative impacts of the social media and mental health. And on the third branch, I'm asking it to develop positive impacts of social media on the community. So from one single chat, I branched it out to three different perspectives. And in each one, I'm asking for negative. In another one, I'm asking for solutions. And in the other chat, I'm asking for positive feedback or the positive uh, perspective of this particular social media impact. And as you can see, one is negative. One is the policies, educational recommendations. And the other one is the positive impacts of the social media. So what are the pros of this branching? Users no longer need to overwrite existing conversations or start from the scratch to explore new perspectives. And that's what AI is used for, to use different perspectives. It enables these what-if scenarios, multiple approaches. I had the negative approach. I had policies, and I also have the positive impacts of social media. So it's giving me all these three different perspectives and what-if scenarios. And the best part is it preserves the context and the history. Every new branch retains full conversation history, saving time and effort. So I don't have to go back and redo everything. It also reduces that cognitive load on GPT. You know, it, it's popular and it's famous to have that enterograde amnesia, and this saves it. Instead of juggling multiple edits, users can manage the organized branches for different perspectives and workflows. The best part of branching is it reinforces the idea that ChatGPT is a flexible tool. It's not a fixed um, authority. And this could be very useful if you're working with complex tasks. This feature shines in scenarios that requires multiple layers of thought, such as brainstorming, structures, and project analysis. So here I have my main chat, and here are all three branches of the same chat. How do I know which is a branch, which is a main chat? All you have to do is click on your sidebar, 
Let's scroll all the way down. And here you can see one says research paper outline and the rest three are the branches. I hope you enjoyed the session. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe and share. And if you're an educator, I highly recommend showing your students how to use this branch feature so they can take a look at one topic from different perspectives. That's the best part of AI, right? It shows us all different perspectives. Until next time, happy teaching and please take care of yourself.